close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms which Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna show you how you can convert any sari of your choice into cute maxi gown. So for this, you're gonna need a tank top or a t-shirt or any shirt. Here we are taking a black tank top which have a round neck front and back. And of course, you're gonna need a sari, be it a chiffon, georgette or silk and also a matching petticoat. Start by making pleats along the length of your sari like this and pin it in place. Keep on doing it until you reach to the point where it co it will cover your entire waist. To the wastelands, to the highways, Now once all the pleats are pinned, sew a straight stitch to secure them in place. You can hand sew it or do it on your machine. Once done, it should look something like this. Now drape the sari around your waist and cut the extra fabric leaving one inch extra onto the safer side. Now wear your tank top and place the pleated sari where you want it to begin and mark two points on your tank top so that you remember where to cut it. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on. You can also wear it on your waist if you have a larger bust. Now cut a straight line along the tank top marked points leaving one inch for seam allowance. Now flip the tank top inside out and start pinning the sari to the tank top so that both of the edges comes up like this. until you cover your entire tank top. Now sew a straight stitch while removing the pins. Once done, it should look something like this. Now take your petticoat and cut its waistband out. Flip it right side and then flip it right side out. And right where it has the waistband slit, rip the seams open from there with your hand. Now stitch it where we stitch the tank top with sari in the same way and cover the entire tank top. And also don't forget to close the slit openings in sari or petticoat in the end. Okay guys, so you can leave the petticoat as it is or you can reduce the size of it like I did. Now, so guys, we could have stitched the petticoat when we stitched the sari to the tank top in one stitch, but we wanted double stitch strength, so that's why we did it separately. Now, it won't rip open in front of anybody. Now, once everything is done, you can leave the gown as it is and accessorize it with a fancy belt, or you can make a belt of your own. For that, cut a rectangular piece from the leftover sari. And and sew the edges of the piece, bringing the right sides together. Once done, it should look something like this. Then pull the right side out like I am doing here. Once the right side is completely out, you just have to iron it to make it look like a belt and then to make the belt loops, we are gonna cut a long piece of the hem of the sari and cut it in half and stitch each of them on each side of the tank top. Shadow, the sun rays, and 
insert your belt and your gown is ready. That's it for today's video guys. We hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends and also subscribe to our channel. And also click on that bell button so that you never miss any of our videos. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.